Item number SCP-3498. Index Brebovinitis. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Instances of SCP-3498-1 are to be contained in standard airtight containment cells. Personnel requesting to interact with instances of SCP-3498-1 are required to wear Class 4 biohazard suits. Amnestics use may be granted to personnel after interacting with instances of SCP-3498-1. At least 12 vials containing SCP-3498 solution are to be kept in a secure cryogenic locker in the office of Dr. Eckhart Lettner. In the event of a breach of containment, Class A biohazard protocol is to be initiated. Description SCP-3498 is an anomalous form of bloodborne virus that alters the psychological and physical makeup of infected humans. SCP-3498 will enter a one through two week incubation period upon infecting an individual. After the incubation period, individuals infected by SCP-3498 will begin to experience symptoms such as fever, nausea, dissociative amnesia, internal pain, and decreased motor ability. Upon the development of symptoms, individuals infected by SCP-3498 are then designated SCP-3498-1. About two through five days after the onset of symptoms, Instances of SCP-3498-1 will begin to experience the long-term effects of SCP-3498. SCP-3498 will begin to transform internal organs into miniaturized structures of Ptolemaic Egyptian architecture. Organs transformed by SCP-3498 will be either regurgitated or forcibly removed by SCP-3498-1. Despite the loss of major organs, SCP-3498-1 instances will remain alive. SCP-3498-1 instances will enter a state of obsessive behavior about two weeks after infection, attempting to arrange removed organs in patterns resembling urban planning. Addendum 1. The first known record of instances of SCP-3498-1 was noted by Edward Lindebaugh in 1908. Lindeberg documented in his journal his encounter of a group of natives outside the temple of Dhaka, near the present-day Aswan Dam. Following Lindeberg's departure, four vials of SCP-3498 infected blood were frozen and put into Edward Lindeberg's personal collection. Following Lindeberg's death in 1913, the vials were successfully brought into Foundation custody. Addendum 2 in 1997, an outbreak of SCP-3498 was discovered by Foundation personnel. The infected individuals were successfully brought into custody, and a full-scale documentation process of the symptoms and effects of SCP-3498 began and was completed in 1998. Approximately five months after the outbreak, fragments of the original mosaics at the Temple of Dhaka taken by Lindebau surfaced. The men who constructed things from their flesh, blood, now would incomplete. The powerful pharaoh, vampiric Menehep, would select their men to engage in competition. The tournaments fierce, the prize would be many concubines. When Menehep was amused, the buildings, villages, would be spared his sadistic wrath. Addendum 3. Instances of SCP-3498-1 have begun developing hostile behavior towards other instances of SCP-3498-1. Instances of SCP-3498-1 will now actively attempt to locate and attack other instances of SCP-3498-1. SCP-3498-1 will attempt to breach confinement in order to attack other instances. SCP-3498-1 will vocalize messages directed at other instances at all times except during discharge of affected organs. A list of recorded vocalizations is available below. I can see you preparing to attack. Why are your troops on my border? We will raise your cities. I will pillage you. For the glory of Amun-Ra, I will not submit. 